welcome back to my channel glitter babes i hope you all are doing great today i'll be creating a butterfly headboard i'll first start off by taping two foam boards together and then cutting two more foam boards in half i am doing this to create my first wing of my butterfly and i'm going to be um, taping these two together and then i'll be able to flip that first wing over and trace it to the other i honestly had a vision of this headboard but i didn't know how i was going to execute it because i am not a good sketcher but i didn't do too bad for this project but of course you all can let me know in the comments about what you think about it my best advice would be to Google a picture of a butterfly because butterflies come in all shapes and sizes. And the top wing is usually uh, bigger than the bottom, so that's what I did for this one. After I finish sketching the first wing, I cut it out with the box cutter and then I'm going to be tracing that over to the other side so that both wings are even. And by the way, I am using chalk for this project and black poster boards or foam boards, I'm sorry. And I'm using chalk because it's so easy to um, erase if you make a mistake. And I am using black um, foam boards because I like the black uh, underneath the silver. After I was done with my two wings, I started to create the middle of the butterfly. I do not even know what that's called, that's a shame. I feel like butterflies are taken for granted because we really don't know much about butterflies. We just think they're cute. And y'all, I would have Googled it, but I'm in the bathroom doing my makeup right now while I'm doing the voiceover. Like I am a mad woman right now. I would have Googled it though. But one of y'all Google it and put it in the comments. Like what is that middle part called? Next, I took one of the pieces that I cut off from the butterfly wing and I'm using that to create the antler. I don't even know if it's called an antler. Oh my God. But yes, and yes, I did use a, um, a liquor bottle to trace that out. Don't judge me. Like it's a circle and I had to use the circle. So yes, we're gonna do that. We're gonna trace it and then we're gonna cut it out, the box cutter. And then I'm gonna trace it over again and cut out a second one. And now I'll be attaching all three pieces together. Now 
now I will be attaching the middle part to the wings with my hot glue gun. I am taping six more boards together and I'm going to be doing this to create another layer to the headboard so it can be stronger and honestly you can re do this like a couple more times if you would like to make the headboard a little stronger because the two boards are not the best but they won't fall apart. It just won't be as sturdy. And now I am attaching them together with a hot glue gun. Next, I took my chalk and I traced around the edges of the butterfly. As you can see, I've already created the design on the other side. And I'm just going to do my best to trace it over again. It doesn't matter what design you do. Um, just do a parallel um, line that matches the other because I'm going to end up cutting the uh, middle out. I know I didn't explain that correctly, so just continue to watch the video and I can show you better than I can tell you. As you can see, I have parallel lines here and I'm going to be cutting the bigger pieces out. Now that that part's done, I'm going to be going through with my hot glue gun and connecting pieces together. Next, I'm going to be using this crush mirror and Mod Podge that I got from 
Michaels and I'm gonna be coating the board with the Mod Podge and going over with the Crush Mirror. And I'm gonna be doing this a couple of times. I'm gonna do a total of three coats of the Crush Mirror and four coats of the Mod Podge to seal it in. And this is how it looked. And then I went ahead and added some gold glitter to it before it dried. And here's some gold glitter just to give it a little razzle dazzle. And I'm also gonna be adding this mounting tape that I got from Walmart, and I'm gonna be attaching it to the back of the frame. And I got these LED lights from Walmart last minute. I will not recommend them because they didn't come with a double-sided tape on the back. So I would recommend you get your LED lights from Amazon, and I will find a link and put it in the description box below. But I am going around the edges of this headboard with it with my hot glue gun and here's the final product and by the way this diy is dedicated to zina's mother she always comes back and visit us in the form of a butterfly so may you rest in peace i love how it looks with the lights off it is so beautiful thank you all for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe and see you later glitter babes